What are you doing? I can't take it anymore. Take what? The noise, Andy. The noise. What noise? This. As again, number one song on the top 20 countdown, Taylor Swift. With <laughs> so they're all Swifties. Big deal. No. You don't get it. I hear it in the shower. And now the number one song in our top 20 countdown, Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. In the grocery store. Uh, attention shoppers, we have a spill in aisle three, and uh, here's a new song by Taylor Swift. <laughs> but not for long, my friend. What are you gonna do? Well, not me. Us. We're going back to a time when there was something even bigger than Taylor Swift. Nice! And we won't stop there. We'll get rid of all the worst stuff. TikTok pranksters. The shape of a Pringles can. Unskippable YouTube ads. And figure out what came before the number two pencil. What? No. We're gonna erase Taylor Swift from existence. And figure out what came before the number two pencil and figure out what came before a number two pencil. Now, if my calculations are correct, we should go back in three, two, one. Ninety million years ago, lay there. What year did you take us to? I told you, we needed to go back to when there was something even bigger than Taylor Swift. So we're looking for the biggest dinosaur that ever lived. And we're gonna do what exactly? Okay, so I'm thinking we bring it back with us and then people will like it more than Taylor Swift. So where do we find this biggest dinosaur? Well, we're in South America now, where some of the biggest dinosaurs that ever lived were found. Instead of biggest dinosaur, we need to say biggest dinosaurs, because technically there are a few. But the biggest dinosaurs that ever lived belong to a group called the Titanosaurs. This group lived through the late Jurassic through Cretaceous periods, about 163 to 66 million years ago, and lived all the way up to the asteroid impact that may have killed the dinosaurs. This group of dinosaur fossils have been found on every continent, even Antarctica. These were a very diverse group of sauropod dinosaurs, meaning they walked on four legs, had long necks and tails, and had tiny heads. They were also herbivores, meaning they ate plants. These titanosaurs got their name from the titans of Greek mythology, a group of elder gods with extreme power. There are a few dinosaurs in this group, including the Dreadnoughtus, the Alamosaurus, and the Puertasaurus. But the two biggest of the big are the Patagotitan Maiorum and the Argentinosaurus. I don't understand. At least one of those two should be around here. Did you check the big and tall? What? What's a big and tall? It's a department store that sells designer clothing in an assortment of larger sizes. Andy, I highly doubt there's a big and tall store during the time of the dining. Hey look, a big and tall! What? Huh, I wonder what they sell. Designer clothing and an assortment of larger sizes. Who said that? Me. Is that big tree the one that's talking? That's no tree, Andy. Look up! Hi. Oh no! We did it! We found the biggest dinosaur! Well, that's up for debate. What do you mean? I'm an Argentinosaurus, and while I'm definitely one of the biggest, some people think there are some other bigger dinos that existed. Like who? Let me explain. As you said earlier, two of the biggest dinosaurs are the Patagotitan Maiorum and the Argentinosaurus. Let's start with the Patagotitan Maiorum. This creature's name translates to Titan from Patagonia, since it lived in Patagonia, Argentina, about 101 million years ago. It measured about 125 feet long, that's as long as two bowling lanes. With its neck extended up, it could reach heights over 50 feet. That's higher than a school bus turned upright. He was heavy too, weighing in at a whopping 170,000 pounds. That's as heavy as 13 elephants. 
Now, on to the Argentina Thorith. This creature's name translates to Argentine Lizard, since it lived in what is now Argentina about 100 million to 90 million years ago. Not many fossils of this dino have been found, but from what experts have discovered, it is believed that he measured up to 130 feet long. That's as long as one and a half blue whales. With his neck extended upwards, he would be as tall as 70 feet. That's as high as three and a half giraffes. He was heavy too, weighing as much as 220,000 pounds. That's as heavy as 30 hippos. Wow, you guys are huge. It's hard to imagine that there'd be anything bigger than you. Well, there is one bigger. Who? Oh, this new dino. She's like the biggest thing ever. I think her billboard is over there. What? No. What's his problem? Just ignore him. He is vehemently anti-Taylor Swift. But that's Tail Roar Swift. It's a totally different thing. Here, listen. Shut it off. I can't take it anymore. We came all this way to find something bigger than Taylor Swift, not find a dinosaur version of her. Yeah. Well, if you want to know what's bigger, I can tell you. Now, we can't really go off of who's the tallest, because experts are still unsure about something. All of the biggest dinosaurs had long necks, but they're unsure if they held their necks horizontally or vertically. Because of this, the horizontal length of a dinosaur is usually what's considered. So who was the longest? Many experts have opinions on who was the longest dinosaur, but it seems like they have it narrowed down to a few. The Superthorus, the Patagotitan Mayorum, the Argentinosaurus, the Maruponosaurus, and the Bruhaskeosaurus. Whoa! Now, those last two are debated, because there's some problems with their fossils. You see, there are either not enough bones for experts to get a really good answer on how big they are, or experts disagree on how big they actually were. Because of this, the Argentinosaurus wins the category of being the longest. But what about the heaviest? This one is also tough to answer, as it all goes back to the few fossils that have been found. But why are there so few bones of any of these dinosaurs? You may already know that a fossil is the remains, or like leftover pieces, of things that lived a really long time ago. Now, in order for a fossil to form, usually the creature needs to die and be buried by sand or mud. Now, all these titanosaurs were really huge, and when they died, their bodies were way too big to be fully covered by sand or mud. Because of this, their bones couldn't be fossilized. Instead, they would just disintegrate over time until they were completely gone. This leaves experts with few bones to study, and because of this, many argue over who is actually the biggest. But with what fossils experts do have, they still believe the Argentinosaurus is the likely biggest dinosaur of them all. For now. So there you have it, the biggest dinosaur that ever lived. Great, but I don't think bringing you back to our time is gonna fix our Taylor Swift problem. I guess there's only one thing to do. What's that? Figure out what came before the number two pencil. <laughs> what? Here goes nothing. Are you sure we're in the right place? Yep, look. Hey, new guys, welcome to Pennsylvania. Oh, you have got to hear this new song. Hey guys, if you didn't know, there are like mini scavenger hunts in all of my videos. Your job is to find my super secret hidden coupon codes. There's one in this video too. Try to find it. It's like brown and has a hashtag symbol for it. If you do find it, you can use it to get money off of my merch, so good luck. Now on to my incredible patrons on Patreon who keep this channel alive. They rock, and they get their name in this video. Special thanks to Kathan and Callan, The Puffin Boys, Laser Rosen, Layla Delgado, Kuchad115, Zane and Asher Davis, Blaney, Maddie, and Henry, The Gowdy Bros and Mabsy, Millie Fennel, JJ Schmidt, The Rivard Boys, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, 
Liam and Evelina, Virginia and Harrison Way, Max C, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Lucia and Camilla Buendia, Aria Caudry, Burning Wick, Lizzie Dean and Trevor, Roman and Mars, Ada S, Jasper Soros Rex, Christopher F, Elias Mark Turner, Ben and Ollie, Noel Whitman, Connor and Emma B, Liam, Basil and Louie, Lucas Willette and family, Sammy Osif, Chris, Connor Lecoque and family, Hawthorne and Willow Tree, Luke Raposa, Julian Jackson and Jacob, Charlie Stone, Max and Kaz, Asher Machado, Rebecca Beanie, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy and Pepper, Silas M, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Zyla, Lava Liam, Jack Hartzler, Bodie Turner, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Benjamin M, Gregory Shaw, Xavier Fries, Connor Pendergrass, Jack and his awesome dad, Connor Higgins, Riker Smith, Toothless and Light Fury, Anna Axel, Lennon McCotnett Jones, Paige, Avalon and Cash, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Penny and Liam Drury, Wesley C, Sam and his mom from Tennessee, Jackson Bear Welch, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Owen Picklesimer, Lawrence from Canada, CL and Django Henry, Jameson Nolan and Lily, Creed of Devon and Zach T, John Arthur and Alice, Callum G, Evan Lee, Sam and Eddie from London, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney and Brian, Gavin Meidel, Jason the Kid Parker, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Stephen McVie, Asher Davis, Alexander, Julian and David, Oshi, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Jonathan George, Chesselton Kent, John, Michael M, and Charlie M, George, George Monkey, Summers, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Erickson and Alexander L, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video like all those names I just said from my video. I just said the same thing 17 times, but I think you should do it. Check the description box for a link. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.